everybody welcome back to um the second episode in the series of 10 that's going to see um rusty teaching us how to how to actually blow this short read goose call so um hopefully you've all done a little bit of homework we still haven't um received any video submissions yet so if you are what i expect for, for the most part is that you guys are all a little bit nervous and and a little bit shy to send rusty in a in a video um listen there's there's a 250 dollar call package that's up for grabs here and nobody is putting in any submissions yet so it, it behooves you to to send in a video of you doing your practice and uh and all that good stuff so um with that being said please um Watch this video, listen to what Rusty has to say, practice, and, and send in your videos. And uh, that's enough of me talking, and let's send it over to the boss, Rusty. All right, everybody. Welcome back to round two of 10. Round two is going to be real short and real sweet, because all we're going to touch on today is just the very simple moan. But before we... I just want to touch on what Damien was doing about videos. Guys, girls, these are never going to be used in a public forum. So don't, don't feel like you're putting yourself up for all kinds of embarrassment uh, before and after. There'll be none of that. So I just want to be very clear on that. I don't want you guys thinking that you're sending videos in that are going to get played and people are going to be able to point and kind of giggle at it. It's not. The whole, the whole idea, idea and premise of it is just to see who follows along and practices the hardest and improves the most over these 10 episodes. And whoever the most improved caller is, is going to win the free call and cup. That's all. Just a little perk for you guys. Nothing more than that. So with all that being said, welcome to round two. I hope everybody got the basic clocks down pat. If not, just a message away shoot me a message be glad to help you if this is well after the fact of november 2020 and you're hearing this in 2030 send me a message it doesn't matter we'll get you started we'll get you going in the right direction so let's talk about the moan and when i say the simple moan on a short read goose call all i'm talking about is Nothing simpler, yet so hard to grasp than the moan. Now, one of the big keys that I say to everybody that I've taught how to moan is the easiest way is to turn your face sideways. Now, I'm hoping my face is square to the camera here. Damien, let me know if it's not. But when you moan into a short read goose call, you're going to say, oh, And if you notice, you'll see my chin, my jaw drops. Ah, ah, ah. And so you're really saying ha, ah, because you want that hot pressurized air. Again, you're focusing. You don't want your cheeks to puff out at all. You don't want You want and what I just emphasized there for you is, is if you put not enough hot air pressure into the call, that's all you're going to get is the low. If you increase your air pressure as you start, You'll see it's that second stage that you want. Once we can do this, and again, we never do any of this fast. We're not trying to go at all right now. We're trying to go real slow. Once 
we can do a handful of those, a real easy drill to learn how to get the moan better is what I like to call the siren. And I learned the siren from a gentleman by the name of Sean Stahl, who happens to just be a world champion goose caller. And what he always said was, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we. practice some of those along with just your straight ah uh. and it's gonna very much help you later on down the road when you start to add a little bit of speed into your calling but it also helps you grasp the right air pressure the right jaw manipulation and movement to get the moan. And we're gonna do the same thing with the moan that we did with the clocks, the the huwit, the gurit, the huwit, the gurit, and we're gonna do a little scale. going to try and start with three now eventually you're going to be able to do five and then maybe even more but on the moment it's not as important to be able to do a whole lot of them if you can do three you've got lots so remember ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, that chin is going to drop you're putting a lot of hot pressurized air into the call a lot more than you would for the clock or any other note. I think the moan really takes the most amount of air pressure moving forward to really get that sound, that whininess that you want. And once we've practiced that for a good two or three days and we've got it down, then we can very, very slowly move on to just putting a little cluck on the end of it. Now, you as the beginner caller, it's not going to be that crisp. You're going to mess up a ton of notes right at that transition from moan to cluck. Don't worry about it. Just remember that the absolute biggest key is that you take your time and that you focus on making it perfect, even if it's not perfect every time, okay? As long as you don't try and get into a rush here, you should be totally fine. It's not a very difficult note to get the grasp of biggest problem I've seen people make is just not putting enough pressurized air into the call and just making sure that they're holding their hands real still. There's no none of that. Just marry your thumbs, marry your fingers. all we got for this week this on the clock will end up leading you to this Anybody that tells you you can't go kill geese with just the simple clock and the simple moan, I'll tell you right now, they're crazy, they're liars, and they're not anywhere even close 
to knowing what's going on. Clocking and moaning will kill you geese day in and day out. Are there notes that you're going to need to learn to add to your repertoire to make you a much better hunter? 100%. But just based on simple clucks, simple moans, as we start to mesh it all together, you are going to find that if you've never been able to do those notes before, you're going to start killing a lot more geese and having a lot more opportunities at geese. But it's just about slowing down right now, making sure you've got a really good grasp on it, making sure we're not Edward Scissorhands. We're just nice and simple. Keep it simple. And if you have any issues with it, shoot me a message. Shoot Damien a message. We're all here to help. That's the whole idea. So that's it from my end on round two. That's Damien, awesome. you got anything to add? Yeah, Rusty, that's awesome. Uh, I'll just add, don't send videos to me if you're looking for help because I'm in this with you. So we're, together we'll send our videos to Rusty for, for the help. Rusty, the, the one thing that I, I, as you're going through your, your lesson there, I, I turned off the video and I was trying it and I was trying that siren um, that Sean Stahl had showed you. And, and I'm really not even close to getting the sound that you're able to make. And I'm trying the, 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 uh, the hot air and, and bringing it up from the belly, but I, I'm a, it's a very, very low, low um, raspy sound that's coming out of my call and not that high pitched um, that you were getting. And I'm just wondering if you had a, a, any tips or tricks on, on getting that sound. Yeah, here's the here's the tip and the trick right now. Pull your call up and do it so I can see exactly what you're doing wrong. So I'm trying to do that ooh wee or hoo wee sort of deal. Okay, so you're going just like that, yeah. right? Okay, you're yeah. doing a little a little buzz. You're not putting nearly enough hot pressurized air into the call. Bring okay. that second hand up to the call. All right. You're going. Yeah. You need to go. So basically, and I mean, I don't have a, a pressure meter here to even try. I'm putting like three times the amount of pressure as far yeah. as the air pressure to go from. To, Okay, gotcha. And I'm just trying yeah. to go, uh, 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 right? Like, it, it's nothing I want anybody to practice, but I'm just trying to show. <laughs> not. <laughs> when you when you do the moan, it's almost like you're gonna feel like somebody's giving you a gut shot. Bang, bang, okay. bang, 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 bang. So, that's uh, the best advice. And if you're struggling, this is a big one. If you're struggling with this and you're not having the ability you find to pop that, get that hot pressurized air going fast enough, stand up because you're, you're squishing everything when you sit down okay. and you're not giving it room to, to build up, right? Okay. So awesome. that's uh, something I've seen a lot of callers do. Um, but so... You, you just got to get a little angry at it for lack of a better, a better term. Right. Cause when you're, when you don't yell, when you're happy, not very often, unless you, you know, win a race or something like that. But yeah. when you're mad, you, you always find the energy to just yell. And that's kind of the energy you're looking for on the moan. It just. You're just. Good point. It's not a relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, so, don't be afraid to make, you brought that up. make it loud. Because that probably will fix. Yeah. 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 We oh, can I always tune it down. It's real hard to control that real low soft comes with a lot, a lot of practice to get that pressure just to pop every time perfectly for you. Awesome. So, okay. Awesome. Sir? Well, there you go, everybody. That's, that's part two of this 10 uh, part mini series that we're using uh, and we're, we're really, really um, digging in on, on Rusty with Heron Game Calls, who's making probably um, some of the best calls right now in North America. And 
the guy can teach you how to call too. So, uh, and, and, you know, he's a friend. So how lucky are we? So that's, that's your homework. Get your videos, send them in because it, it really is a, as simple as just asking Rusty a quick question like I did and, uh, and he can pick out what your problem is right off the bat. Uh, Rusty, again, thanks for doing this part two, the moan. Um, my video will be coming to you tomorrow after I get a full day of trying this. Thanks so much for doing this again. Uh, last you. words to you, buddy. Yep. So round three's next, kids. And here's what's going to be cool about it. We're going to put a little bit of round one and round two together to make it a little fun for you and make you get to that point where you, you can see a little bit of the light at the end of the tunnel. I usually wouldn't rush all this in so fast, but you know what? We got to give you a little bit of sugar. You've been on that no sugar diet for too long. So let's give you a little sugar. And then we're going to touch base on a note that I think is a real big one for killing Canada geese. And that's the spit note. We're going to go over the basic techniques on how to do just the simple spit. And then episode four, we're going to get into some pretty sophisticated spit stuff. And by the end of episode four, you're going to be a goose killer. I promise you. That's awesome. There you go. The, uh, the, the gauntlet's been uh, thrown down. So uh, there's the challenge. After step four, you should be having uh, no problem to kill some geese. Again, send in the videos, ask the questions. If it's not coming out the sound that you think it should be, um, your ears may be playing some tricks on you and maybe you just need an extra set of ears to listen. So send them in to Rusty. Um, this is for this week. We'll be back again next week with uh, step number three. Rusty, thanks so much for doing this as usual.